Please begin in loosely constructed seating, seated posts. Are you stopping for that? Pausing just to soften. Hey children, it's yoga time. Yogurt! If you'd like to sit upon a cushion or blanket, that is fine. Just use this first couple of moments just to soften and settle. No need to do anything. Just breathe and stop. What else you've been doing? I think for meditation, a, a little forwardness, just a relaxed forwardness in my spine. Not working too hard, it's helpful. I'm just trying to let everything that is not in this moment just fall away. There's your breath, your body. Taking time today to savor our lives by connecting with our bodies and breath. When you feel an inhale coming, sit up tall and release out your leg that's closest to you and this interlaced active leg joint release, beginning pose. Um, moving ankles and feet a little bit, your own body. Gaze lovingly, connect. Feel your strong leg activate, maybe try hands away from them just to feel your leg strong. Also tall spine and then knee hinge folds, hip, ball and socket rotates externally. Other side, interlace, activate, tall spine. We're going to lift your neck out of your shoulders and out of your ribcage to your long relaxed there. Move your ankles, your feet, your ankle, feet. Pause and just listen. What does your body want here? What feels good? Come to stillness. Hold your knee. Externally release your hip and come into an easy position for your body. Taking time over years to develop your seated pose. So do something that brings you contentment, please. And leave your fingers together, gesture of new beginnings, the Usha Samudra. Sit with ease and breathe about eight times, focusing on your exhalation. Need nice big inhales. Through your nose. Slow exhale, letting go energy. Let go, let go, let go. Creating that gentle sound to your breath. Soft eyes or inward gazing. So you can look at the space between the eyebrows from inside as a place to still our minds when our eyes are closed. <laughs> In deep breaths, three more times. And the next one, optionally at the own. Inhale deeply or just think own as you exhale next time. Let your palms come together. Oh. Vibrating your body with your sound, your breathing, vibrating your heart. And place your right hand in front of your chest, facing out. Your left hand comes in and bring your fingers together. Without, so you can avoid your long nails if they're one. Ganesh is in the driver's removing obstacles. Sit tall, navel towards the spine. The exhale, we pull, but don't let go. Inhale deeply. Exhale, pull. You will activate your entire upper body. Feel that. Sides, back, front chest, shoulders, arms, relax. Inhale, 
Exhale, pull, create tension. Inhale, relax. One more time. Release your hands to your heart center. Pause a moment. Soften. And balance it with the second thigh. The left hand faces out. Right hand comes in. Fingers connect. Ganesha's mudra. Inhale. Soft. Exhale, pull. Inhale, soft. Float. Exhale, activate. Let this hope that you feel empowered. Inhale. And awakened in your heart. Exhale one more time. Release your hands to your heart center and soften everything. When you're listening. It's not my project. And then bring your fingers back. Into heart lift pose, fingers forward, back behind you, bend your elbows, squeeze your legs into um, ridge, feet down, lean back, bend your elbows, hug them towards each other, and keep a downward gaze. Five breaths, spread your fingers, just let your lower body relax in the shape. Heart center breathing. Once more with feeling, relax, release, exhale. Bring both your knees over to the left side of your mat, crossing around your ankles, your, your ankle coming across your bottom sole, loosely stacked. Let your belly be relaxed to come round to the twist, facing away from your legs for a Jasmine's twist. Your right hand, you can slide it, palm down underneath your knee, or use both hands for support here as you come round into a twist. So your belly can come, your whole spine. Look back, breathe five times. Be careful not to collapse into your shoulders. Stay lifted, press your hands into the earth. Fourth breath, one more time. Other side, practice being where we are and then letting go, impermanence in action, five breaths. Just the right amount in each pose. And gently, Bring your navel in as you breathe out, but let your belly stay long. Fourth breath. Nice look back with your neck and your eyes one more time. And exhale, begin to soften. Release the twist coming to your tabletop position. Spreading your hands and fingers. Finding that clear connection with the earth when we touch the earth. Take your right leg straight back, press back through your heel, your toes tucking under. For one. Now we tone the low belly towards the spine. And our practice should help you feel empowered with your strength and your centering. Pressing that leg back, warming up the plank pose with the arms, the chest. Exhale, second side, release, bring your knee down. Other side, tuck the toes, press back through your heel, stretching foot, calf muscles, back of the leg. Head nice and neutral. A little upward tone in the low belly is called Uddiyana Bandha and means flying up, Uddiyana. Exhale once more. Bring your knee down underneath you, pull right up into cat spine with an inhale. With an exhale, come to cow spine. Low back is pretty flat here, gently forward with face and heart. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cow. Now inhale, cow. 
Exhale, cat. One more time, inhale. Cow spine, moving the spine through waves. Exhale, cat, if you wanna open your mouth, sometimes it feels good to let go of the breath in that way. And release to neutral. Tiger pose. The arms in this position come into an elbows pulling in, chaturanga. We take the right leg straight back, not higher. Just reach back, breathe in. Breathe out, hug your elbows and knee towards the center. Twice more, extend and contract. Move slowly and purposely. And exhale. Knee, second side, three times. You're fine. Your foundation as needed. Find your extension. If you're in warrior C, we're going to do that later. Reach that leg. Breathe in deeply. Breathe out. Elbows and knee curl to the center. We're doing little mini chaturangas in tiger pose. Always makes me think of William Blake, tiger, tiger, burning bright. Exhale, one more time. Release. Quarter dog pose, Katar Svanasana, toes tucking, easing back to any degree. Let your arms find length, elbows up, forehead down, five breaths, long spine. Grounding your brain, let it feel calm with that contact. This position teaching us the downward dog, shoulder position, external. Some uplift in your armpits. Breathe out once more. Breathe into cobra spine, upward cobra, high cobra. Breathe out back to quarter dog. Just explore going between the two twice more. Upward cobra, roll your shoulders back, stretch your belly, and release back. You can do whatever you want with your feet. Mine are floating off the floor today, so I don't really need them for this bit of practice. And back, keep your toes flat this time, drape your arms, drop your head. Try to touch the top of your skull to the ground, breathe deeply. The more we can soften, the more we can really connect with ourselves. We keep this practice today non striving. Releasing tension in your own body. Where does your breath go on this last breath? Where do you feel tightness? I'm going to breathe into my knees. They're a little tight. Just choose your own place. It could be your brain. Yoga links us to our body experience. Coming to downward facing dog, perhaps with a lion's breath, that exhale with sound through the mouth, releasing breath as you work to your down dog. Refining hands, spiral outward, refining clothing, if necessary during practice. <laughs> Deep waves of breath. There's a gentle extension in our spine here as we reach the heart towards the floor. Four, and one more time, deep breathing. One more, exhale, weight back into your legs. Inhale, shift your gaze forward, bend your knees. Breathe out. Inhale again, spring forward or step lightly and fold in. Turn your palms up, take three breaths or so. Let your knees bend so your chest can rest on your thighs. Okay. 
And one more time. Exhale, forward fold, nice and soft. Lunar style. Bring your hands to your pelvis. Ready yourself to stand with an inhalation. Extend its spine, use your feet and legs. Press and rise. Reach up to the sky, breathe deeply in, gaze up. Breathe out slowly, bring your arms down into the sides of your body, pausing in Tadasana, the mountain pose, our standing center so many time. We're standing, we need to pause, we always just stand on the mountain. And the way we organize our bodies here informs the rest of our practice. So we just try to line up your head and your shoulders, your hips and your heels and stand in a relaxed Take wide, easy legs so that we can do it. Look back to us with the bow. Let your belly be free as you come around to your right side, looking behind you with strength and courage. This activation of the arms reach away. A little bit determined, a little fierce. You've got this. And then whatever resonates, activate an inhalation, activate your, your bow, and then let go with maybe some intention of letting go of something. Stay with it, look at it, watch it go, feel it leave. Return to center. Pick up your bow of courage. Look back the other way so we can go forward in peace, knowing that we have cleared the space behind us. Anchored and rounded into our legs, into our lower chakras here, the lower three. Once more, activate inhale. Stay, exhale, release your hands, release your activation. Let go. Return to center. Here comes the sun coming out of the clouds today. Starting with the standing side bend over to the right side. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out one more time. Just gently send your hips over to the other side. Explore your range of motion on this one and slowly rise up. Other side, hug your leg version, arm overhead, send out your hips to the side. Eyes steady. Breath steady. One more time. Look simple. Not easy. Explore the range of motion on exhale. Inhale, slowly come up. Leave your fingers behind your skull, elbows wide, standing back then. It's not as scary as it sounds. Just let your pelvis go forward a bit. Lift up your ribs and gaze down the tip of your nose. Just supporting your neck and head with your arms. One more breath, explore, just bring your pelvis forward and then slowly bring it back under you, come to forward fold. Take some time to transition all the way down, breathe out. Feel a reflection dominant with this one, even if it's stiff for you. When you breathe in again, come to half lift pose. So focus on some extension of the spine and body practice, nice. Exhale, going back to plank pose. Keep your hips low if possible, spread your hands. Land right into it. We've been practicing this one a lot. Five breaths. That's all. Bring your thighs toward the sky. Press the earth with your hands. Wrap that wide belt around your belly. One more breath. Downward facing dog. Walk in your feet. Bat on your head. Five breaths here. Focusing on that extension at the heart area.
Nice uplift in your low belly. One more breath. Exhale slowly, deeply weight back into your legs. Inhale, weight forward into your arms. Step forward, breathe out, fold forward. Stand up, breathing slowly. A little bit of breath at a time. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Sky, stretch a little more. Exhale, back, grounding into your sides. Great breath. Wide arms, inhale to the sky. Wide arms, exhale, forward fold. Catch your legs, draw yourself in gently. Hands to the shins, inhale slowly. Exhale, back to plank pose. So when you come down, try to keep your hips low. Send back your legs one at a time. Basi Stasana, side plank, right side. Knee down version or straight legs. Try not to overly strive. Just hold steady. You could practice in this one regularly as well. Hopefully not a big deal. Other side, if you're building your practice, it builds over time. It's all good. Knee down is fine. Creative as necessary. No judgment whatsoever. And we're free from being together in a room in a way that allows us not to accidentally do any of that. Come back to center. Downward dog. Would you like to pedal out your legs? Have an invitation for some movement this time. And then coming into stillness gradually for the last few breaths. Take your right hand and touch your left knee. One more breath, nice uplift in your belly. Other side. Use your whole body here, not just your hand. Use your belly and your legs and release. Come forward, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Let the wave continue the other way as you stand up. You bring your head into extension. Spine follows, arms reach. A little bit more, inhale. Exhale down, deep breath. Turn out to the left side on your mat into star pose. Nice, wide, easy legs and feet. Nice earth connection. And then without as a non-striving reach. So your shoulders are down as you bring up your arms. Let your fingers open and gently stretch. Perhaps try to strive for a second just to feel what that's like to really try to reach really high, just soften it up. Very intentional, even. Plenty of time. Notice little things you can soften, like your shoulders down, soles of your feet. We need longer holds today in some of our key standing poses. Now triangle pose over to the right side, angle in the back foot, come over and down. A nice lengthening through the top of your head and a, an anchor in your belly center and in your feet. Eight breaths. Keep it softened. As we focus on holding our body steady in a position, we hold our minds more steady. Finding that calmness beneath the waves. One more breath. Over to the other side, take your time. Tita Trikonasana, triangle pose. Eight breaths. Shoulder off your ear. 
up and down, reaching. Patience. Five, exhale. One more breath out. Take your time coming up. And eight breaths in extended side angle, returning to the right side, bringing the knee over ankle. We're gonna reach pose, maybe feeling forward it um, out to the floor, either side of your foot if you would like. Eight breaths. So don't do your maximum version. Soften what you can. Feel your strength grow every time you practice this. Six, two more breaths. Navel towards the spine. Press both feet. Exhale, follow, inhale, energy. Up and out. Pause and center. Empower. It's part of you now. Other side. Lean and reach. Work that appropriate depth on this side. You can stay on the bent leg. Come down low if you're working there. Cup your pinky side of your hand towards the floor and your tailbone under a little bit. And five, continue to see what you can soften. And the last breath, exhale it out. Follow inhale to release those actions. And coming to side to side flow with the toes turning toward the corners of the mat and the knees following. Side to side, nice and easy in your own body. Enjoy some freedom here. Before you have your hands, you can try holding your thighs as you move. Maybe come to the floor. Let's go about four more times. You want to stay and hold a bit. You have time for that. About two more slow, slow breaths. And then coming to center with your legs feet parallel to Prasarita pose. Ankle version coming down your legs. Your ankles are big toes. Widen your elbows and bring your head down. If your knees are bent, that is fine. Keep your shoulders up into your body here. Navel to spine. Exhale slowly, slowly when you are ready. And one more time, maybe a little halfway lift from the inhale, find a little extension. Exhale, go back in, maybe finding a little more length. Traveling up your legs, breathing in. And return to the top section of your mat, please. We're working today with this called the Triple Warrior Vinyasa. So if you'd like to add some intending to the, the bow, the aim of the bow and the arrow, you may warrior A right leg step back without your knee. Stance is actually slightly shorter in this one, so don't do your maximum stance. So tailbone under energy if you need it. We take um, hands forward, shoulders on the body. Left hand holds the bow and the right arm goes up and behind your head to look for an arrow in the quiver. So it can just be a physical thing or you could actually think about something you want to 
and some attention at. And then take out your arrow and match your hands together so we match the bow. And then pull back to B. Open your foot to the side, come into that side stance with the hips. Pull the bow tight once again, shoulders down. Getting ready to let that arrow fly into warrior C. Big ass. Let's start by letting the arrow go and then follow it. Follow that sense of moving forward. Warrior C, back toes can stay on the floor. Try again. It's a big transition in the hips. One more time. Reach that back leg. Remember the um, tiger pose and release. Second side. Your Vajrasana A, slightly short stance A. Find that foundation, shoulders are grounded in this pose. Hands in front, left arm reaches top long and then comes behind your head. Against that intention or just hold the physical shape. The whole body is, is participating. Stay with your body. Listen to your heart. Breathe out one more time. Bring your hands together. B variation. This time, let's keep the hands flat and just pull the back hand back. Turn out to where your B side of the and toes. Gaze front. Hi, Daddy. Breathe, settle in. I think I might just walk Inhale. in here. Exhale, one more time. Even though I do a Exhale, release your arrow. Follow it, so bring your back foot in enough. Turn your pelvis towards the front. Load up your back leg, find your balance. Just do your best. For one, two, don't get up easily. One more time and release. Let's, let's do one more standing pose, the Prakasana, the tree pose. If you'd like to come to a wall or something for support, please do. You can also keep your branch low with your toes on the ground so you can still create that intention of tree pose with this low branch. Medium branch, high branch, all fine. Work where you feel most at ease with the pose. We have this project of centering. So centering hands can be very helpful. Trying to find balance in asymmetry. Feel free to express yourself. Clearing a place in the forest of your life for self-study, heart awakening, intention releasing. Another breath or so, just glimpses of stillness. A little bow in, thank you. Whatever I learned on that side, turn around, PD2, and find your other side. Create the energy of Vrksasana, the pose with lots of consonants. If there's a give and take with the legs, the lighted foot, find your center. Feel the space between your ears expand as you concentrate. There's clarity there. Don't worry if you're steady or not. 
Can you work that? Release. A moment to step back to the top of your mat and then breathe in, interlace, press up. Breathe out, coming to forward, fold slowly. Bring down your hands, go back with your legs and come to your belly. You do the knees down, hugging elbows. Release to belly. Wide legs, lock a little on the front of your pelvis and support your upper body with your arms into just an easy resting back bend. So if it doesn't feel easy, just bring your chest lower, walk your arms further away. Gently grounding the front of your body, <laughs> your feet, your thighs, your knees, pelvis, belly, ribs, undersides of arms. Take a breathe once more. Bring your legs together, activating the lower body for cobra spine. We can interlace behind hands, it's heart opening pose. So legs active, bandhas active. Lift your chest, roll your shoulders back, reach back for your feet, five breaths. Just the right amount. Once more, breathe in, lift a bit higher if you can. And breathe out slowly, let go and come down. Settling in to an energy of a pose, downward triple diamond. So bringing together the soles of our feet. See if you can widen your knees enough to let your feet come down towards the floor. Find a relaxed place, feet together, knees apart. Second diamond is elbows wide, and the third is the hands. Settle your head down with a long neck so that you don't have too much pressure. I find that just facing my forehead right on the floor in that space, instead of pressing into any of the bones, is more comfortable. Soften here with permission for letting go. Savoring this opportunity to release whatever resonates. Maybe a little acknowledgement towards the challenges that they are behind us. Any feelings of loss or grief. So if we breathe another time. Release from this hold. We're going to come to supported fish pose. So you can flow through up, up, down, up if you want. Or just sit up and put in your socks and start getting ready. So we'll have a pause here for that getting ready, finishing and rest. Um, so we're using Two blocks if you already know that practice. Um, you can come to your back with your knees bent with no props. One way to do a gentle heart lift is just to use a blanket and maybe a little roll of a blanket behind your heart. So, so I know my body and I know that I can lie on this 
comfortably. For some people, just that rolled edge is enough. So with knees bent, come to your elbows and carefully arrange. So your heart is behind that lift. So we're trying to lift our heart in this pose. Work your arms into an, a comfortable open position. It can be higher or lower, it's all fine. Check in with your spine so your neck is long, spine is centered. You can do what you wish with your legs here. Would you like to come into Supta Baddha Konasana possibly? You can tuck your blocks under your knees. Cross legs, easy cross legs is nice too, or straight legs, all fine. Feel free to change. Relax and let your heart open. Connection to our breathing. Feel that your body is releasing and has released tension. Allowing that to create some softness and stillness beneath the waves of the mind. Let your breath be deep into your heart center, your heart chakra, that center of energy, you can feel it. Opening your heart to what is to come. Finding courage in this practice. Courage to listen to your heart and what it says. You need to honor your own wisdom. Two more breaths here. Ask your body to breathe into your heart center and see what happens. One more time. Feel the physical response to your request. Meter in that exhale until you feel grounded again into your belly center. Come carefully off of your supports. You can go off to one side or use your elbows under you once again. Bring yourself upright. And stretch out your legs. Perhaps sit up on your blanket if you have one there. And inhale, reach up. Exhale, come out and down, let your knees bend, tip your pelvis forward, just like when we're standing. And then come all yin style into forward fold. So once you've reached your way in, try to soften and support your legs from behind if it feels good, bring down your head. One more time, exhale. Rise and fold in your right leg to Janusir Sasana pose. The head pose, heading out and down with that other leg bent to the side. Exhale. We then come up, widen your legs, turn each other, take that straight leg out a little bit, and we fall side bend towards the straight leg. 
not striving, just nice in your own body. One more breath out. Come up with slowness, strengthen your low back, which is important. Other side, those two versions of head knee pose. Come out and down. Be where you are. Calm and quiet. Forward breath slowly out, last one. Up with slowness and an in breath. Widen your leg and go right into your exhale side bend. Exhale once more. Low back focus as you come up. And release now to the floor. You can lie back, legs straight. Bring your props to rest. Make sure you have clothing to stay warm. Begin with a long neck, long spine, right knee, drawing into your chest. Interlace your fingers across your shin and Use some gravity and a little muscle, little bicep to pull your knee in. Take your hand and dra draw the knee across your body, knee down twist. If there's another twist you love and you'd rather do it, I don't mind. Catch your leg or rest your toes on the floor. So it's important to let that top leg ground through the foot and then turn and look away. And here we can actively stretch the knee away from the hand behind us. And your shoulder is off the ground, your knees off the ground, it's okay. Let both reach towards the ground. Deep breath again. Stay into the exhale. Roll to your back. Center. Bring your other knee into your chest. Relax your feet. Just use a little arm strength to draw the knee into your body. And five. Knee down to a second side. Look away. Find balance in shoulder and knee off the ground, both gently trying to ground. Neither needs to come all the way. Feel this one open across your heart, as well as along your spine and hips, whole body. Three, exhale. Two more breaths, take your time. When you're complete, come back to center. Both knees in, both legs up. Bring down your arms by your sides. Legs and feet rest into each other. And grounding in your sacrum. If you'd like to move your feet in little circles a few times each way to feel that earth connection. Pausing in stillness.
you folding your legs into figure four. We'll do both sides. You can start either side. You can draw in or rest open, rest further away. Take care of your body. Stretch your hips as a finishing pose. Remember to think of your forehead as higher than your chin, and that helps your neck stay long. We tend to pull up our chins in some poses, crunch our necks. We want the energy to flow. Okay. Two more slow breaths. Find your sweet spot. If there is such a thing, no judgment if there's not. The sweet part could be letting go. Let it go. Second side, working with your body, find a way to release this side in this way. I do a, a little toe tuck to just elevate that a little bit closer. Just perfect it for your own situation so you find good energy flow. Nice release. And there are going to be poses that are just awkward in our bodies for whatever reason. And we just work in a place where we can stay a little soft. How's your forehead? Is it higher than your chin? I hope that you can stay dropped in from this moment. Freedom to release in a way that serves your body. And then to stretch out and rest. Let yourself just soften into resting pose. We need to add some covering, cushioning, or refining of your body to do so. But internally, you can stay undisturbed, even if you're moving your body around a little bit. The practice has led us to this point where we are receptive, and meditative. Release all tension from your body, shoulders down, and soft. Let your legs fall away from each other. Relaxing your hips, a little awareness there. Let them hold still and open. Deep breath into the heart center. Feel it rise off the ground. Open your mouth, exhale. River of breath goes away. Allowing yourself to focus as needed on the anchor of the body. Then in your breath, let it be free but present. Relax me into a peaceful headspace.
Do not try to serve the whole world or do anything grandiose. Instead, create a clearing in the dense forest of your life and wait there patiently until the song that is yours alone to sing falls into your open cup hands and you recognize and greet it. Only then will you know how to give yourself to the world so worthy of rescue. Invite your stillness to gradually release until you are sitting once again. Give yourself time to transition. Come to your seat and to the gesture of the open cup hands, pinkies touching, resting downward. A handful of flowers, mudra, just letting gratitude spill over. Seal your hands together, seal them into your heart and bring your heart and mind closer for a moment. And in this bowing into our own hearts gesture, allow yourself to feel connected with everything and with yourself. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. We have peace in the new year. Thank you.